Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And those are breaking news developments in the massive water main break impacting more than 100,000 Metro Detroiters and the news is not good. The Great Lakes Water Authority now says it is going to take three weeks instead of two to get it fixed. Topping our news at five new inspections found damage in the pipe, meaning more of that 120 inch main needs to be manufactured and trucked in. So let's take you through the latest here. The Water Authority now says its goal is to have the line fully repaired by September 3rd. Today at the site, crews began removing the broken pipe that was installed back in 1973. That means 130,000 people in these seven communities are going to need to boil their water for the next 18 days. Rod Maloney live in Shelby Township where residents lined up for water. Not the news anyone wanted to hear today, Rod. The people we talked to didn't hadn't heard that uh, when we were talking to them in line. Take a look behind me. You can see the pallets and uh, those are the empty pallets from the water that was distributed this afternoon. We're going to show you some video now uh, because there aren't many cars out here because the water was all scarfed up pretty quickly. But this is what the parking lot looked like. People uh, in the parking lot out down the street and out onto the main road here on 21 mile uh, to try and the water and this is one of three different spots just in Shelby Township alone and that water is in high demand. Water of course is that basic commodity go without it and your quality of life changes on a dime. Truck? Okay. Just ask Menthol Bowden of Shelby Township. The way we brush our teeth, the way we uh, wash our hands, um, showers are like two minutes and out uh, so yeah a, a whole lot has changed. My wife and I we take medication that we need water. Joe Kozlowski says this all needs to wrap up quickly. Can't do can't wash dishes too much. You gotta use paper plate. Thank you. It's plastic silverware in that there. Denise Stepa asked for more than her allotment of one case in order to help a cancer stricken neighbor undergoing chemo. She called yesterday, she wasn't answering the phone, so I just assumed she was laying in bed and so that's why I asked. This water disappeared as quickly as it arrived, but that's not the case with the water main break itself. Great Lakes Water Authority sent us close up stills of the repair operation that came with the frustrating news that this is very far from over. Sue Coffey is Gliwa's CEO. The inspection found more damage to the pipe than we initially thought, uh, which will require the acquisition of additional pipe. Which means there's no relief in sight until Labor Day weekend. We have to wait two to three weeks or four weeks. It's not good. You know, we just wanted to get it over with. We're just dealing with it, and that's all we got to do. Just deal with it on a daily basis. Well, the hope is that they can get at least some water pressure going here before too long, maybe before September 3rd. But here's the deal. They had purchased all of the pipe available in the United States that could be used for this project, 120 inch pipe. You can't just go and pick it out on the on the uh, Lowe's shelf, as it were. So they've called out to Texas. They've got a company that makes the pipe working on it right now. They believe that they'll have a delivery by next Tuesday, which is what gives them the confidence that they think they can get this done by Labor Day weekend. Back to you. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Rod, though, did the, the Water Authority have any idea that this could or would happen? No, they said flat out it was a surprise. Uh, a fairly new pipe probably should not have happened. They're trying to figure that out, but we're going to start asking some tough questions about inspections and how that all works and why this was allowed to happen with nobody even noticing. So we'll have that coming up on Local 4 News at 6. We'll be looking forward to it, Rod. Thank you.